What is your position on Act 55 and the PLDC? Senator Gabbard, uh, minute. The basic purpose of, of Act 55, uh, PLDC, is to facilitate the development of public lands. As the chair of the Energy and Environment Committee, I, I voted in favor of it basically to help spur the development and expansion of geothermal energy. Um, as of right now, as Rep. Pine mentioned in the meeting today, basically they are trying to come up with the administrative rules. Uh, if the administrative rules that they're coming up with, that they will put forth tomorrow, uh, if it needs amendments, then we can take a look at it this next legislative session. There's a lot of kind of um, hysteria out there that this is going to, it's a done deal. The fact of the matter is it's not a done deal. Uh, amendments can be made. Uh, another point is that uh, Chapter 343, the environmental uh, laws are, you must follow the, the Chapter 343 in there. Uh, and so again, it's just going to take some time. Let's see what the, uh, the results of that meeting were today, see what about their administrative rules. And if they're not, if it, does, if it does not make sure that the cultural resources and environmental uh, resources are kept safe, then we can amend it this next legislative session. Thanks, Senator Governor. Uh, Dean, one minute. Okay, um, my problem with Act 55, and it really bothers me, is uh, uh, across the board, the legislature passed this, and, uh, and only one representative, I think, stood up and said no. Um, the, the problem with this is uh, consent of the government. You, know, you talk about democracy. They, they violated every principle of democracy when they passed this. Consent of the government. Hawaiian sovereign groups do not recognize the state and federal uh, authority over the lands. Representative government. Uh, our neighbor islands are not represented on that board. The rule of laws. These guys that are on this board can override some of the environmental laws. Individual rights, property, uh, people's property uh, rights are being violated, and there's no anything in the administrative rules to mediate that. And then checks and balances. These guys that are on this board can can uh, do backroom deals. This is like pay to play, no bid contracts. That's one minute. It's just incompetence in our legislature. Aloha. Thank you.